In this video, I'm going to be answering some of your Firefox for Android questions. These are mostly beginner friendly questions, so if you feel like you're an advanced user, I don't think this video is for you, but you can stick around if you want. Hey guys, my name is Shaibu, spelled S-H-A-I-B-U, and you are on Shoestacks. Alright, with that said, let's get into the video. So, question 1. So if for any reason you can't access your Play Store or it's just acting up, well, for you to download Firefox, you're going to need another browser to download it. And um, lucky enough, all Android phones come with Chrome. So we're going to start working with Chrome. I'll paste the link of the website address where you get the Firefox application for your Android phones. Don't worry, it's free and it's safe. The apps on that website are mostly gotten from the Play Store itself. So let's begin. Alright, this is the website you want to come to for getting Android applications out of the Play Store. So once you're here, tap this little search icon over here. For you guys that will be using your desktop, it's going to be a different interface. So don't worry about it, it's almost the same. Just look for the search bar over there and type Firefox. And then when you get it, this is the one you want to click on. You could try the other ones if you want, but I don't really think you need to. So, it's... It's around 50... Let's just say 60 megabytes. So, when you're ready, you just tap download. And it will start downloading. And then you install it by tapping it when it's done. Alright, say you found an image of a dog you want to keep, all you have to do is just tap and hold the image you want to save, for example this one, so tap and hold, and then on the image section, tap it, and it should say save image, you can choose this one or this one, I'll choose this one for now, and then the image will get downloaded. In order to access your downloads, like the image we just downloaded, this one, just come up here to this menu icon, tap it, come down here where it says tools, tap it as well, and then tap downloads. And this is the image we just downloaded, although it's low quality. Firefox saves files in a folder called um, downloads that you find on your internal storage. So let's just get it. Tap internal storage and then download. Remember this is the picture of the dog we downloaded. So this is where all the files you'll be saving on your Firefox browser will get downloaded. Alright, say you love the homepage of Google so much and you feel like bookmarking it. On Firefox, do that, just tap this menu icon and then tap this star icon. And then bookmark has been added. In order to access your bookmarks, come up here and then tap bookmarks. And um, this is the one we just bookmarked. These ones you find whenever you install the Firefox app on your phone. The way Firefox saves pages is different from the way most browsers save pages. And I like it because it will download a PDF file for the page you want. So let's just let me just show you how it works. Tap over here and then over on page, tap it. You can save it as a PDF. It will download and then it will be in the same folder where images and other things are saved. Okay, if you want to easily access a website, you can add it to your home page so you don't have to launch Firefox and type the website or bookmark it. All you have to do is just add it to the home screen. So in order to do this, just tap the menu icon again on pages or on page, you tap add page shortcut so 
So I'll tap add. And yeah, it's now here with the Firefox icon. I'm sure you can see that. To check your browsing history, just tap the menu icon and then tap history. This will show you all the websites you have browsed so far. For you to customize the home page on the Firefox application, because normally when you start the app, this is what you're going to see. So in order to do this, just come up here to the menu, tap settings, and then tap general. So from here you can customize your home page. I'll be using the Google home page for this, so tap custom and then input the website address and then tap OK. Tap this one. So anytime you open a new tab, you just see the Google search bar. Then go back, go back. So I'm going to open a new tab now. And then it takes me straight to Google. In order to increase the font size, you can't really do it with the Firefox app itself. You have to increase the font size from your phone's settings. So depending on your phone, it may be different from mine. So I'll just show you how mine works and you could use the same method to check yours if it's going to be possible. So let's begin. Now head over to your settings. And then if you have this search bar, great. If you don't, I'll show you how to do it without the search bar. So tap the search bar and then type font. Now these are the options I have, so I'm just going to click the first one. Font size. And then drag this slider. So if you want your text to be big, you can make it big from here, or if you want it to be small. So I'm going to leave it this way and so you can see the difference. Okay, I don't know if you notice the difference in text size, but I'll reduce the text size now and you'll see. Alright, small. So. That's how you change the text. I'll show you, let me show you the other way, I almost forgot. So when you access your settings, come down to accessibility and font size, and then you can drag this slider to adjust the size of the font. So, I already have a post that talks about blocking ads on not just Firefox but many browsers. If you guys want to check that out, I'll put a link in the description. But um, for now, I'm just going to show you guys how to block ads using the Firefox browser on your Android phones. So in order to do this, you are going to need an extension and the extension I use is called uBlock. So let's begin. As usual, come up here. Now this time you tap add-ons and then tap browse Firefox's recommended extensions. I almost said add-ons. Now the first app you see here is the one you want to download. But um, in case you don't see it, you can come up here and search for uBlock. So let's just do it this way. Yeah, this is it. Tap it. And then down here, tap add to Firefox. Depending on your internet on how fast it is, it may take some time, but um, you'll get to see this dialog box after a few seconds. So when this one shows up, just tap add. And that is all. Now your Firefox browser will be able to block annoying advertisements. Unlike Chrome, Firefox doesn't have that feature where you can just pull down the screen 
to refresh the page you are currently viewing but in order to do this you are going to need another extension and um this is it so this is the extension you want to install i don't like using it but uh, if you guys feel like you need it then go ahead so tap add to firefox and then tap add and that's all so you may have to configure it before you start using it so i'm just going to quickly show you how to configure it come over here tap the menu icon head over to add-ons and then tap this one make sure enable vertical gestures is checked i don't think you need to enable this one but i'll just leave it the way it is now go back it won't start working immediately you have to like refresh the page you're currently viewing for the extension to kick in so after refreshing i'm going to pull down now and you'll see it will refresh on its own yep so it works In order to block autoplay, come up here, tap settings, come down to advanced, and then under media. <coughs> wow. You can either allow autoplay or block it. For me, it's blocked, so that's how you do it. Firefox uses an extension to enable you access the dark mode feature. So just like the last time, we're going to install a new extension. When you, when you come over to the extensions page, just just search for dark and then select dark reader and tap add to firefox and then tap add and this whole page will show up but uh, you don't have to worry about it just close it So after it is done installing, I don't really know why it doesn't work on this page, but uh, you can try it on other websites and you see the difference. So with Google, this is what it looks like. If you find your Firefox app running slowly, then chances are you either have a low-end phone, which is phones that are normally slow, you don't have a fast processor, or you installed way too many extensions because people can go really extension installation mode sometimes so when if you feel like your firefox is getting too slow just head over to your add-ons and then look for all the extensions that you feel like you don't need or are not necessary i don't have a lot here because i don't like using too many extensions i know how to slow the browser down so don't use too many extensions but if you still do that and it doesn't work then it's possible that you may need a new phone because your phone is really outdated sorry to reset firefox just come over to the settings tap clear private data and then select all the things you want to clear up and tap clear data for me i'm not going to do it but if you guys want to reset firefox this is what you should do or you can just use your phone settings go to settings go to apps firefox storage and then tap clear storage and select yes or ok whatever comes up just give the positive feedback or response 
Well, that is it. I hope you guys found something new after watching this video. If you did, give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed, please do that. And um, if you have any questions, just let me know. As usual, if I can answer the question, I'll try to make a video on it. But if I can't, well, I'll show you those who know the answer. Well, thank you for watching the video, and I'll be seeing you next time. As usual, stay awesome.